Good evening and welcome to another Nino Kuni video. This is going to be a kingdom defense showcase, right? This is a beginner's guide to your kingdom. So we've pulled the discord, we've gathered the troops. Here at 5 p.m. Pacific, we decided that this is the correct time for us to try to defend our clan's dominion. This is going to be a waves of monster player versus environment battle. And it's sort of a preparation as well for the player versus player, 50 versus 50. And so what we did is we made a feast over here at the clan feast area where we can craft at the restaurant. And we popped the feast to give ourselves some buffs. You see we have a ton of buffs actively going. And then we also went and bought a one hour clan buff for 15 clan coins, 15 guilder. It looks like you can actually apply a multitude of these. So let's try that. Oh, you can. So you can actually stack a bunch of buffs. So if you're going to do PVP, you would probably want to buy all those. But we have so many people here, and we're very well prepared. We built a musical tower in the back, which will increase movement speed. And we also have an ice tower, which will slow down the waves of monsters. We've also got a clan buff going at the lab. So there's a lot to do. There's a lot for your kingdom to do to prepare for both PvE and PvP. Go ahead and make some enhancements and try to get some last minute strength while we wait for this event to start. So we've got a little bit of a boost to CP here. All right, so we're officially starting in one minute. What else can we do in one minute? Let's see if we can grab some dailies. 
Getting some wish powder and some eggs. All right, diving in. So this is the official start to the kingdom defense period. We're going to kite backward just to get some health. We're only level 32 and the monsters are all 40. So it's a little bit ahead of us. But it looks like we're doing a really good job here, at least for wave one. Oof, just absolutely melted. Clearly getting more challenging as this progresses. It's getting tough. I can definitely see why they failed yesterday. Let's try out some of these fire bombs as well. Oh, we, we just instantly died before we can even drop the bomb. I was wiped out by a pork chopper. Try to be a little bit more tactical here instead of walking in the middle of all the monsters. We're slowly learning.
Now we're trying to play very, very tactically here. It's getting very dangerous for me to survive these. But I feel like we're doing a really good job. We're at, we're at wave 9. We're doing well. Now the real terror begins. So we did pretty good. I'm still learning my class, of course, and learning how to play the game. I forgot that we had those bottom two abilities below the uh, the kind of action bar in the bottom right down there, so I started using those at the end. But we still have a good amount of time. We have three minutes before the rage starts or ends. Try to kill this last ad here as well. All right, nice slow-mo to finish the fight. So now we do have a bunch of items that are going to appear in the, the Kingdom's Auction House. So we've got some Fire Magic pages. You can randomly obtain a th up to a five-star piece of gear. Wow, that's actually the first five-star I've ever seen. Um, you could also get an anvil for in case your weapon breaks. And then a ton of Kingdom experience. My personal reward is going to be very similar to the one that we can buy from the auction house. So it also has that small, tiny chance at the five star, along with a lot of fire rewards. 10,000 gold coins and 10 guilders. We did spend, I think, 30 on clan buffs. So it possibly it wasn't worth it uh, because we also have to donate the guilder and do other things with it. But, you know, it's up for debate. And either way, it was a really good fight. Um, actually, here at the end, we also got some uh, some bonus rewards. So. Oh, that's coming up. So this is the, the tier two version. So we'll have to do that, I believe, next week. Changes in three days. Resets every week. Yeah, so we'll have to do that one next week. But that was a good game. And now we'll go take a look at the auction house really fast just to see what the items are going for and seeing what everyone else is doing. So here they are. Some of these have zero entries. I'm going to enter for uh, 20 Gilder. And that would give me that chance at the five star armor varnish, which would level up our gear very fast. And um, since we're here, right, and since we're doing the Kingdom Defense tonight and filming it, we'll go ahead and open this box as well. So we have a very small chance for the five-star Fire Weapon Varnish. You can obviously get enchantments as well, including the top-of-the-line Superior Enhancement Stone. There's a normal Enchantment Stone, which I think our weapon's are already getting up there pretty high. So I don't think we can enchant it at the moment. Actually, we have just enough. So we have a 45% chance here to enchant.
ah, we didn't quite pick it up, but we'll get it next time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video of the Kingdom Defense, just showcasing how it works. There's going to be multiple waves of monsters ending in a boss. So thank you all, and I will see you later for the world boss tonight at 7.30. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, or offer some constructive criticism, and I'll see you next time for another video.